I'm uh, Richard Learight. I head up informatics at the Academic Health Science Network across Kent, Surrey and Sussex. What does that mean? What's that actually do? What's an AHSN? What is an AHSN? An AHSN is a body that helps um, s s accelerate um, innovation and speed up adoption of technology um, on the whole and support uh, in bringing together networks of people of, um, of similar to communities um, to enable improvement. Yeah. Uh, where, where are we with the, you're running an event today <coughs> about analysts, where are we with our sort of analyst communities of practice? At the start, <laughs> so that's what's uh, helped uh, generate the event is that um, we all work in, in often in very in silo working um, and so the idea is to bring together the best practice um, and so this is sort of the start of a journey. There are various um, examples throughout um, the country that where they're further along yeah. um, that we'll pick up on later okay. in the day but generally in, in South East this is, this is hopefully the start of something yeah. to come. Yeah. How formal will it feel? What, what's your the idea feel? is it would be quite informal okay. initially and unless that there is the, uh, the will to make it more formal yeah. um, we, we, we want to keep it that way so it's a safe place for learning. Yeah. Um, Do things like STPs become relevant? Does any of that sort of geography work? Um, it can do so. Um, there certainly is opportunity for the people to work in a in a collection, and they should do. Um, yeah. And uh, and and that would be asked to formalise that in terms of analytics. But I w th there's no th there is at the moment no formal agenda to do that. So mm. we really need to be proactive in actually doing that. Yeah. And how do you, as HSNs, do you link up with the same objectives around informatics? Or? As the STPs, or no, as as collections of HSN. So oh we're yes, to get yeah. So um, yeah. so the answer is we talk to each other, okay. um, but um, it, it, the AHSNs obviously try and focus on their local area. So yeah. there's different agendas yeah. for each ASS, AHSN as a whole. Mm. Um, so we, we we tend to share practice and share ideas, and we're getting better at um, and doing it collaboratively. But at the moment, again, we're in early stages of that. Um, so going forward, the, the hope um, and, and, and the mandate really is to, to work much better collectively. How do you get to this point in your career? How do I get to this point in my where career? You, well, this is actually a second from? second career. Right? Is it? Yeah, so I, I originally started out in recruitment. Um, okay. And funnily enough, I used right. to recruit health informatics. Wow. Um, so well, 300 pound a day, 400 pound a day? Uh, uh, higher than that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was in the boom times uh, of the National Programme for IT. Um, right. But uh, what it made me realise is that um, I actually wanted to do do this myself. Yeah, okay. um, so I I, uh, I googled masters in informatics and came across right. the grad scheme for the NHS. Right. Um, and I, what I thought I was getting was a free masters, and then I yeah. went on a graduate scheme, and then went on that. Um, How long does that take? It takes two years. But having already had a career where I'd already reached a sort of fairly senior level I yeah. didn't want to go back and do data analysis I wanted to be a manager of information okay. um, so I deliberately um, got myself jobs where I worked for NHS England in the policy team yeah. with Sir David Nicholson and co. Okay. Um, I also worked um, running a health economy um, in uh, for a CCG okay. um, and then since then I, I, I led on workforce planning and commissioning for wow. Kent Surrey and Sussex um, uh, Health Education England yeah. um, before yeah. deciding I wanted to m move into the uh, yeah, yeah. AHSN space. Yeah. So. It's fascinating because that's a very strong CV and us analysts, if, if I call us that as a collective now, are quite a rag bag of travelling Wilburys and have got all completely different CVs and Absolutely. if you're kind of working in NHS finance, there's your chartered accountancy, there's the HFMA, it's all relatively signposted and it is is a community as a practice to try and address that or is it something more I, I think it's a bit of everything. Um, okay. So there'll be within the community of practice there'll be people, uh, I think there'll be people who want to just learn from each other, there'll be yeah. some that will want to harness, harness, harness each other's skills but there'll yeah. also be some that see the opportunity for networking that may help propel their careers going forward and um, and that's obviously you know yeah. valuable as well so yeah. it depends where people are coming from but the idea is that people are speaking in a like-minded um, manner and obviously bring together the skills and expertise and opportunities for each other. What makes you think this will happen now? Because pro probably well-meaning people have talked about similar sounding things before. 
I, I don't know if it will happen now, but um, I think given uh, given that data is is just becoming more increasingly accessible to people in every yeah, uh, w yeah. walk of life, it, it, the opportunity is is ripe um, to do yeah, this. Yeah, um, and uh, given the pressures in the NHS and the need to innovate and the need to do more for less, it really is a good opportunity for it to happen now. What's a good outcome today? Good outcome is if. Uh, people enjoy it, um, make, meet new people yeah. and I think want to do it again and, and stay in touch. Um, I think that would be the best outcome and then gradually get it going over time. Mm. Great.